it has been a great year to look up in the sky. More than once here in the heartland this year, we've had a great view of the northern lights. In the spring, the United States got to see this solar eclipse. Now, I will admit the partial lunar eclipse happening Tuesday night, not quite that exciting, but still something cool for you to check out. Now, this will be the opposite of a solar eclipse. Basically, the moon is going to pass through the Earth's shadow this time. Now, because the Earth is so small compared to how large the sun is, its shadow has two sections. This inner area, Earth's full shadow, is where all the sunlight is blocked out. Out around that, we have Earth's partial shadow, where some of the sunlight does get out and around the Earth. Now, that's where the moon will start to enter at 739, just the very tip of it. It looks like it could take until about 912 for the moon to fully be in the partial shadow. And basically, this is just going to kind of dim the brightness of the full moon. Then we'll reach maximum eclipse at 944. And at that point, notice a little sliver of the moon actually does go into the full shadow of the Earth. And that little area could have a little bit of a red color to it. And before you know it, the moon will start to exit the shadow around 1017. And it will fully be out of the shadow around 1149 Tuesday night. Now, these happen a little bit more frequently than a solar eclipse. So if you miss it, don't be too concerned. We have another one coming up March of 2025.